Listen up. Greetings, Earth. I'm Tony Toxic. Did it now! And I wanted to show you the workshop mode and show you my sanctuary settlement in Fallout 4. Oh, so there's Dance. Right now I have the uh, thing on my X01 power armor that gives me all living things or everything that's alive. Running around. Here's all my people. Yeah. So let's start with the bar. Here's the bar yeah. area. My back hurts. My feet hurts. Well, across the street is actually where you start. You know, that's the that's the house that you start at. Most people are good at breaking things. And I think they kind of wanted you to start over here because everyone kind of navigates towards here. So I put beds in there. So here's my shopping area. For some reason, there is a pack Brahmin on the roof. Okay. I'll show you my outer defenses. So here's here's a wall. It's not my outer wall, but I have stairs. Oh wait, I'm moving my jetpack. Um, see, I have a guard posted up. Lots of turrets and spotlights. It's not actually doing anything right now. I think it only shows up on hostiles. I'll have to go through some. So, if you've played Fallout 4, you know that if enemies come and attack, they kind of just spawn wherever within your settlement. Um, but I put a wall, basically around the majority of it. So here's a wall that's impenetrable. So I'm gonna go around. I would expect enemies to come in through here. They wouldn't make it very far with all the turrets and the sniper. Run around my settlement. I just made sure there was an exterior wall. And then come around this way. And this place is more open. I want enemies to... See, like, look, what's that over there? What are you? Let's get, um, let's get something with a, there we go, my plasma sniper out. Alright, so, it's a dog. You're too close. Alright. So you come over to the side. Walled in area. Turrets. Sniper. You go around. There's the front where the bridge is. And I like how packed Brahmins are now climbing all over whatever they want to. Over here, I put a big water treatment. Actually, two water treatments. I have lots of water here. And I hid my power generators because people go for them. Look at the front. You know, I don't expect because if you have a settlement at Red Rocket, uh, not a lot of enemies are going to come through here. So I just have a safeguarded uh, missile turret there. Here's a place where they live. This is the prefab. Oh, back over here I put a missile launcher because there's a little gap right here where they can slide through. I mean, I don't expect enemies to slide through here, but... Kind of rudimentary. Everyone's sleeping, so shh. Just use the prefab and put some houses in there. People like it. People like the beds. i actually seen improvements of happiness for my settlements when I change out sleeping bags and, uh... Um for beds so this is the first time that sanctuary got attacked everyone all of the raiders came from here in fact there's still a goose spot from whenever i fought them last so i'll put some turrets here here's a little area that i could sit if i wanted to i did i originally didn't have this blocked off but then i decided to here's an area that i can get through but there's a wall and a turret right there um, so you keep running, and basically there's no way, if you come in through this way, there's no way to get in. You have to go all the way around and reach these turn down, uh, reach this area. Alright. I love the jetpack. I love the X01 armor, too. Alright, so let's check out the farm. This is the only power generator that's not really protected. Um, which, if it got destroyed, all those turrets would not be functional. So here I have my farm. Got some Brahmin here. Excuse me. Um, this is the original farm that I started with, and then I realized mutt fruit is more is is better uh, food 
provides one instead of half. So then I put a bunch of mud fruit. Um, up here in my kitty cat area. I love the bar area. I notice that whenever I put the food and drink area, that people flock to it at night. So I started building a little area for them and put chairs and a table. And you now I got my siren right by the door. Walk in. Um, there's Sturges. Alright, I got power armor strewn about because I just got a bunch of battles. Piper helped me out. So, this is kind of like my workshop. I have three power armor stations. I got my bobbleheads. I've only found four. Maybe I found five. I just haven't put it up yet. Got all my stations. Here's my computer area where I can cook. My computer is set up to that light outside. Excuse me. I'm here. There's some beds, but I've noticed that <coughs> people don't like going upstairs. Um, they will come, even though there's beds for the town, for everybody. I also have people comment, uh, or there's a poor bed situation. It's probably because everyone glitches out <coughs> down here. Hey, Dads. Citizens. I like to give citizens, at least in Sanctuary, all really good weapons. Instead of breaking down weapons or selling them, Sanctuary got first dibs. Um, make sure everyone look cool. Alright, so there's Sanctuary. I'm getting over the top. I used to have the turret right here. And I got attacked. And the missile turret just destroyed my farm. And of course, it didn't cost a lot to repair them. It was just annoying to repair them. So there's an overview of Sanctuary. And for some reason, there is a damn pack mule on top. Alright. So, cool, cool, cool. I'll take it to my next favorite place. Um, follow the lines. My route is crazy. Like, I could have just had one guy meet right here. But, um, there were so many people here. I was just like, get out of here, no room for you. So let's go to Sunshine Tidings Co-op, my second favorite settlement. It is so big, I did so much to it, and I want to show you. Um, I made intricate mazes that before I found out that they just spawn wherever the hell they please. And especially if like you're in another place, and a little blip pops up that says... Such and such By settlement to be attacked. The Commonwealth is a rare occurrence. By the time you get there, they're already in the middle. So, um, if you work, oh, you turn off the pit boy light. So I try to get rid of this feral bull several yes. times. Move him out of the way. <coughs> I wish there was a dispose of corpse option because every time I move back, there they are. If you ain't been up right in the same guy, spot, right in the middle. Go. Oh well. All places run by robots. So you come outside. Here's a pretty big farm. Um, here's part one. This is where I started. I was like, I don't like this area. So, they can come in through here. Enemies can. Come met by a shotgun turret. Then I'll follow up all the way out here. Usually there's a person there. Here's entrance two. Not the main entrance, but it's kind of the gate. So, they'll come in through here. I don't like this. And then there's a turret waiting for them. Alright, and a guard. I got a something guy here. Another turret right here. That's blocked off. This is where I keep my power armor station here. Alright, here's the great part. This is my entrance from the road. Alright, so walk up. Well, can't get in. Not any turrets right away except for that one. And then I got one peeking over here, one right there. No fun, right? This is a rare sight. Um, over here is where I made. Hey, clinic lady. Um, here's where I made uh, the majority of the bedding. Um, I just liked this room. I didn't have to build it. It was already there. There's plenty of room. Um, then you have this area. So there's a guard posted right there. I did prefab this area, which I liked. Eventually, it might be something, but right now it just stages an area for me to climb up, run around, and for the turrets to be a nuisance. Let's see. So you can go through this door. Doorway, I should say. Um, here's a little funny thing. I used to have a turret over here. I was like, no, that's stupid. So instead, I put a mine right here because this is basically a little sideway that you can get through. You can actually run through this area. So I put a mine there. 
But the only way to get through it, since I walked off everything, is through over here. And then I have one more little entrance. Right here. And you're like, oh, cool. Turn around. Oh, crap. There's a card posted up. And there's a turret right there. Alright, so I have another guard post there. World is bigger and there's straw. Than strong new. Human carries so much. I mean this area was uh I'm trying to cut everything off. This area too, next to the This was a doozy. I had to do a lot to make sure that Donald could just jump through there. And I know the AI's not gonna make it through there, it was just for my own benefit. So there's Sunshine Co-op. We like Nordhagen Beach. It's got exactly it's got a huge amount of space. And a lot of defense, we'll see. Uh 86, not as much as 175, which is I mean, what can they benefit from? Probably more beds. I could probably put in more beds now. So here's the prefab shack. For me to put beds. I haven't even upgraded. They'd probably be happier if I upgraded to. All right, all downstairs in my workshop. You hear about that farm run by ghouls? Upstairs, the bunch of sleeping stuff? bags. The main house it came with. So huh? I have the bar right here, just for whatever. Here's an entrance to the road. So there's the bridge. Um, and I just started out making this and putting up these two turrets. Then I was like, well, let me wall in over here. And then I found I wanted to make this prefabbed steel kind of bunker. So I made it and I put... First, I didn't have beds. I had a turret here. I had this partition wall. I had a turret here. And if they made it around that turret, I had a turret right here. It's, then I made a turret right there. And then I decided no one's ever, 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 ever going to come through this freaking doorway. So I just put a turret right there instead. And I made this an area for people to sleep. And I have room for more. All the way back. So this crappy wall goes all the way over here. So no one can come around. I put a wall around my water treatment. There's not a lot of flat land except for next to the beach. I guess I could add, add like, a beachfront property. So again, the turrets were destroying my mutt fruit. So I blocked off my mutt fruit. Hope you ain't one of them since here to spy on me. Whatever, dude. I own this place. You should know me. So there's Nordhagen Beach. So this is the outpost. You know, um, originally they have this right here and then this thing kind of moved over, looking over, but when they got attacked, I had people coming down from right here, so I moved it, and then I made this area. Put an artillery up. Another so day of hard beds work. Here. It never changes. Two beds. It's whatever I can. Let's see. Just enough beds to people ratio. The size is big, I'll probably add on. But, this place is hard to build on. So, I made this area. Well, this was already here, but I added all this. So they walk around. Just in case anything comes from over here. There's a light yeah. over there. I've never noticed it before. Um, and then I added two small wooden shacks for people to sleep. And that hangs over. There's a beach right here where there's another guard posted up. Um, this area could probably be cultivated a little bit more. Very small farm. Um, the Brahmin hang out underneath here. A lot of Brahmin. There's that very small settlement. Very impactful because... 37 defense. Pretty good. It's not great. But they're happy, so... Whatever makes them happy. Alright, I think I'm Jamaica Plains. I can't wait for Jamaica Plains to increase in the amount of people because I feel like I, I, I prepped it good. You know, you learn a lot from, oh, how many beds should I put? Should I go ahead and make what I can? Yeah, go ahead and do that. Go ahead and prep 
even though there may be only five people, three or five people there, if you don't pay attention and you go a couple of days in game without noticing, one time I let a place sit and they, when I left them, they had three. I just, I, I got the place, had three settlers already, let it sit there, turned on the, on the beacon, the signal, and boom, I didn't pay attention to it for days, weeks, in game. And there was like 24 people living there, and I was like, holy shit. So here is Jamaica Plain, an artillery dude right where as you enter. Um, I made this bunker. Because I like that. What, what? This place is always being attacked. By like feral ghouls, yeah, whatever. You don't have a gun? Oh, they're already dead. Because I have so many turrets. So well, there's a bar here. Chairs, beds, beds in this bunker I made. You know, I use this awesome house as we're gonna sleep. Another my beds up here, places to hang out. This is gonna be my workshop area, probably still will be. Um, I did have something right here, but then it was getting away of this turret doing its job. Pretty good lately. I'm seeing if there's another cow up there. Oh, that's a turret. Here's my farming area, and look, these people, these dudes are dying right here at this entrance, perfectly, perfect, yes, I love it, I'm glad that I made the entrance like this, two turrets, a turret there, I did have a missile turret, and I moved it over here, because I'm just afraid that I'm going to lose mine. And then I do believe if you turn down here, it was going to be like my merchant alley. Yes. And then you, you know, make your way around. Probably put a, probably put some more shops over here. Got a clinic there. Where's that? Cool, cool. Oh, let's show you Hankman's Alley. This was the place where I didn't pay attention and there's 24 people living in this small little alley. It is ridiculous. But you can use your imagination, um, and I was afraid that people would not. I like that. That journal is cool. Anyway, I was afraid that people wouldn't go upstairs to go to sleep. So you will see very cramped conditions. I still have plans for it. I'm just not gonna not gonna mess with it right now. Go ahead. Oh, turn. Hey, boom, 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 boom. You gonna die? Right at the door. Look at everybody. So, it's hard to really take in. Like, small farming area. You can climb underneath. Can't talk now. Everyone sleeps I'm upstairs. All the time. If we had a good I don't really have much of nothing. I'm just, I just made a lot of places to sit. Yeah. But there's still a bajillion people that need jobs. Is there not a person working over here? There's someone working there. There's not there. So, this will be my other. I don't know why I, I hate melons. Melons take so much room. Melons and gourds suck. Uh, climb up the stairs. Alright, alright, dance. And this, that's it, you know? Just sleep. Boom. Enough beds for everybody. How? I don't know. There's oh, there's more people now. Gotta, gotta pay attention to how many people are living there. The thing I love about it is that. You know, no one has to follow the same rules. Um, you can do whatever you want to. So here's where Hi, the pr provisioner and you know, it's like the main road is the train track. So, you know, some stuff. I used to have, you know, I've got this guy posted up that way. Um, when people attack, they come down from here and over here. There's a farm. Here's the bar. Lost track of how many blisters I got. Added all this. Come up Christ, here. Come all the beds are back yeah. here. Guard post up here. I intended to have, and I still might put it, the power of uh, armor station up here. You know, these prefabs, just put them in here. It's also a good way to kind of bottleneck any enemies from directly going for the food. So those are, those are the settlements that I've worked the most on. So yeah, I love this game. I basically, I'll run out and do a mission, or not a mission, just run out and explore something. Sometimes it's a quest, and pick up as much as I can, usually become over encumbered every time, and then run back to Sanctuary, 
So the trade posts are all good. I have not done anything with this. I have done beds. There are no beds. How did I make them? beds? Because I used sleeping bags in this little area. So get over it. Put a wall up for reasons. Oh, maybe this is County Crossing. I'll show you County Crossing. I love the ones that already have the big house. It's like the boat house and the and the manor are great. Yeah, just build off of it. Put the beds inside. I like putting the bars inside the houses if I can. That place is nothing but trouble. My recommendation is don't put shops on second floors or that decline, because then you're gonna have them not do it. So instead of putting beds in here, I want to turn it. And a place to stay. Can't climb up this All right. So when this place got attacked, that got destroyed because it's so close. There's no way to block it off. So I did my best to wall it off. But yeah. Okay. So this place gets attacked a lot too. They get attacked right here. And that gets destroyed instantly. So yeah. I'll show you that. Turrets are plenty. I added this shack. No, like, I can make my own. This is my own. For bedding. Areas. The Minutemen are back. They've even set up a radio station to coordinate their efforts. Walked off this, put up a gate. I think it's the only town with a gate. Like, I completely blocked this place off from the farm because when it got attacked, I couldn't, I couldn't save it in time. And all the mutt fruit got destroyed. Um, I don't know where they came in from, but everything was destroyed. All the turrets. All the power, all the water, and all the food was gone. Gone. Like, not repairing it, gone. I had to replant it. So, hurry up. Oh, I'm provisioning it. It's all good. It's all good. You never tell. I actually messed up a quest because I was seeing everything red. I was seeing red again. And, uh, yeah, it filtered through. And I thought it was a bad guy. It was actually a good person. And there was another time at a boathouse because a lot of people that don't have jobs just stand together like idiots. And uh, I tried to do something and I accidentally threw a grenade and like killed five people. And uh, Dance hated that. He did not, I don't see why he didn't like it. So, there's Fallout. So, thank you. I'm Tony Toxic. I hope you enjoyed my little romp through all my settlements. Hope you like my armor. Uh, hope you're enjoying Fallout 4 if you're playing it. And I'll see you later. Take care.